Okay, this is the P4 paper from June 2024. It's question number four. And you can see if you read through that we've got a rates of change question here. We're going to be asked to show dA by d theta, where A is going to be the area of a segment. So first of all, we need to work out the area of that segment. It's the classic one where here's my segments. There, the way to work out the area of that is to work out the area of all of that sector and then simply subtract the area of this triangle. So let's go ahead and do all that and then we'll go back and look at the question in a bit more detail. So make it clear to the examiner, the area of a segment is the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So the area of a sector is half r squared theta and the area of a triangle is half, I always say half bc sine a, but whichever version of that that you've got, but obviously within the half bc sine a, half r squared theta. In this case, b and c are both r, so it's half r squared and obviously a is theta there. So, um, the area of the segment that we want is going to be half r squared theta minus half r squared sine theta. Uh, and we know that r is equal to 5 here. So actually, what people sometimes do is say half r squared theta minus sine theta. And then in this particular case, that's 25 over 2 theta minus sine theta. So that's my A, and now what I've got to do is to differentiate that to get dA by d theta. So if I'm going to do that, differentiating 25 over 2, the differential of theta is 1, and the differential of sine is cos. So we end up with 25 over 2, 1 minus cos theta, and so that's in the correct format for exactly what we wanted there. Uh, let's read through the rest of the questions. Just go back and have a look at it now. So it says theta is increasing at a constant rate of 0 0.1 radians per second. So that one there is going to be d theta by dt. It then asks me to find in centimetres squared the rate of increase of area. Well, that's dA by dt. Sometimes you can look at the units to help you working out what we've got there. That's an area centimetre squared per second, dA dt. This was a theta per second, d theta by dt. And so given the fact that we've got dA by d theta already in my question here, we should be able to uh, just follow everything through with this one. So let's make it clear to the examiner. So we were told that d theta by dt was equal to 0 0.1 in the question. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm being asked to find dA by dt, and dA by dt is dA by d theta multiplied by, now what's going to be multiplied by? It's going to be multiplied by d theta by dt, because then they will cancel and I'll still get the dA by dt. Right, so that's everything that we've already got there. So dA by d theta was 25 over 2, 1 minus cos theta, and uh, d theta by dt was just equal to 0 0.1. Go back and read the question. It does say we want all of this when theta is equal to pi over 3. So if I now put theta equals pi over 3 in here, then 1 minus cos pi over 3 all times by 0 0.1. And you can just do it on the calculator. Uh, it actually works out to be... Five eighths. Don't forget to put the units back in. Just be careful with making sure. Did I have it on the first part as well? Da by d theta. When we're going through, and that's just a formula. Um, but any answers, make sure you've got the units in there. Just just to be careful about. But yeah, no, that's a very easy, straightforward question number four. Hopefully that all makes sense to you.